good day guys so um i've been some complaints about um, how to like minimize the cost of a um, vpn and also sometimes you get the vpn you can still get um, cuts so there are ways in this video i'm going to show you how to set up um, the proxy instead of um, vpn and configure it with a browser code and go login so you you will stay completely anonymous on the online space so without further ado let's get started so um the first thing we are going to use here the first website we'll be using is where we're getting our proxy so i will drop the link in the description below so the first website we'll go is called a um, web share so we'll go to web share so if you don't have an account before if you don't have an account before then you have to create one you have to create one so these are the list of my proxy these are the list of my proxy immediately you create one you will have um, some proxy to use here so as you can see here this is my free account so the first thing you will do is because I, I log in already so the first thing you do you search for web share web share as you can see here that's where you get your proxy you click on it although I will drop the link in the description so once you are done watching the video check in the description below so you click on sign up if you don't have an account and you input your details you can use either Google or you use your email or you use your email before you can get access to the account before you can get access to the account so once you are there once you are there these ones are free immediately you log in immediately you get you create an account then log in you'll be able to have access to about 10 free premium proxies which you can be using in, in a month then it will expire so um if you want to buy one if you want to buy what you will do is you go over to come in yeah you go over to either upgrade or just click on upgrade so here the one the center here this one i don't advise you go for this one even residential is somewhat costly but it's good the verify these ones are the ones verified by google and these ones are the ones i i prefer you go for static and residential so you click on that let's say you want to buy for static residential we click on that then we have the one for shared the one for private and the one for dedicated this is owned by you only I think this is not available now but immediately you do it you will see that it's available so this one is only owned by you the proxy will be for only you alone then why this one share the one it will be like um you guys will be like two or more more than two people using this uh, one which is not that okay you can go for private which will be for only you and one users and the expenses will be less so let's say we are going for that private we click on it yeah immediately you click on it you can see the cost here but never panic yet we know how to go about it and we minimize to the to the lowest so we scroll down you check where it says proxy 50 proxy that is what is giving you this so we have to filter it to bare minimum so we'll go scroll right down scroll down then it says where it says custom you click on custom and you'll be able to see the number of proxy you want to use so let's say we are using one we need to buy one because we don't need much for now and we click on save you can see that it's reducing the cost here is reduced to like 13 dollars so never panic yet so we we'll now click on this again we'll go on we are using this this will serve you for whatever you are doing this will serve you for whatever you are doing 250 gig per month so you click on it which is the bandwidth and you can see that the money here is just one dollar which is why we are here to save you 
so once you are done with that you scroll down again and which country we are choosing for one since we choose uh, one proxy we are going to for us we choose one and we scroll down again we scroll down again we scroll down again uh -huh. so for high concurrency i think this is the most popular one you can add it if you add it the money will be added so i do like go for this recommended for some sensitive uh, websites so you go for this recommended so you click on that and the cost will only be one point two dollar per month which is very okay it's okay it's okay for you you can use it on any website without detecting it at all although i will still show you the difference between proxies when you use proxy and when you use vpn since i have them but so if you want to continue buying you click on continue here and as you click on continue you still go we've choose this already using the performance we choose this already you can add this but i prefer you go for the recommended one to save you cost also so you click on continue let's wait for it to load continue what's that okay so we are there so when it comes to the card you will be using i'm coming let's wait for it to load they say we should solve this and boom we are done we, we've passed that process let's just wait for it to load okay so the payment method you impute the payment method you impute the card details here this is where you impute the card details so for nigerians for nigerians you can go and get the card on gray you can get the card on gray i will still drop the link here where you can go and get your dollar card that will work perfect which is what i do use you can go and get that or you can also try a nigerian card if it works better if it doesn't work then you can go for gray which is what i will drop the link here and you get the dollar card from there and it will work perfectly so once you are done like you've succeeded in getting your you succeeded in getting your proxy here the next thing we go to go login so you search on go login and you can see it here let's say we search on go login yeah this is what we are going for this is what we are going for this is for apple store okay let's anti the brother yeah this is what we are going for so immediately you click on the link you have to like download the browser first you have to download the browser and it serve you seven day trial but i still know how to extend this period to like use it forever for free so i will also make video on that separately after this one but for now once you are here you go on download go login for windows click on download go login for windows i don't want to make this video too long so i will just once you are done download once you you downloaded it once you've downloaded it okay the next thing will be for you to launch it off my sometime it disrupts it so i just have to off my uh, anti virus um, detection let me just off it yeah let me off it so it doesn't disrupt the color green <laughs> so i will have to create another profile my profile here is full already so i have to create another profile i will log out I will log out. Yeah, let me log out. So immediately you get to go login. The next thing will ask you to sign up. So because I have an account already, I just have to log in. So I click on login. Okay, let's assume now that you are logged in so now you are you are in so for you to set up you come over here click on add to profile you want to set up so no 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 sorry let me 
So it's still okay. You can do that. Then you go here and say settings. You click on settings over here. Yeah. Once you are done with the setting, once you click on settings, then this is where you go. You are proxy. This is without proxy, or this is your proxy. This is if you want to set up your own proxy. So we use our own. So we click on your proxy. So once you click on that, you can name it. Let's say demo. Let's, let's name this one demo. 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 So we name that demo. The next thing will be for us to connect our proxy to configure it better. So we are going to choose SOC5. SOC5. Click on that. And the IP address. So we are going to take so at this point we let's assume that we've bought our proxy from webshare so we just go over to webshare we'll go over to webshare you click on proxy list now let's see let me connect to let me connect to um let me connect to frankfurt no that's germany okay let me connect to frankfurt Germany, yeah. Let me go to Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go to Germany. So let's say we are taking this. So the ones note that you can also do this on your mobile phone. So we are taking from Germany. So we click on this. This is the one we are taking. You don't even need to click on this, you just have to click on this. Yeah, you see it says copy. You go over once you copy it, you go over to here and paste it. So, do the same thing with the port. Do the same thing with the port. Yeah. If you copy it, you paste it. And the login username, you do the same. Let's, this is the username. So, we'll click on it. We'll copy it. We we'll take it over to here. Paste it. We we'll do the same thing with the password. Do the same thing with the password and we'll click. So the next thing will be for you to check if the proxy is actually working. So you click on check proxy and boom, you can see here it's working perfectly. You can see here this is where we are connected to Frankfurt. So we'll click on save. At this point, we've connected that. So let's run it. So let's click on run. You have to allow it to run it will say checking after checking the next thing will be to download preparing and running so now our proxy is running so we just have to wait for it for the browser to come up so immediately the browser come up you will see it will pop up now our, bro our browser has opened yeah so our browser has opened so let's check our ip let's let's check um, the information of um, this browser and our location so the next thing we'll do what we are going to do we'll go on this browser and use IP info to check since it's not my language I can't read that you have to go for the location you are familiar with so and you can see it here everything here you can see it says um, your location looks like an ordinary an ordinary um, user location from location in in um, the Frankfurt so the IP address is this and all of that. And I, will, I will hide some of this information. So you can see Frankfurt main. So you can see the everything about the, the browser we are using and the location we are located in. So that's actually how to set up that. So now I will okay. We'll use IP info to check on another one. So I'm running the one of the USA. Let's go with IP info. Oh no. What's wrong with this? Okay, at least I can read this one because it's English. So fire hydrant. 
fire hydrant should be here I think should be here let me fix that all right we've passed there so let's check the info so once I'm done with this, I'll also open VPN for you so you know the difference. So let's check the difference now. Okay, now you will know the difference. So you can see here is any cast false. You have to make sure that all of that is false. Even when you buy, you can see it's hosting, it's true. It's supposed to be false, but we are using the free one. We are using the free proxy. That's why you can see it here. True aside that and everything is still okay you cannot even compare it to a vpn which i'm going to also open it as well so you can see here everything is false and that's what we want vpn false proxy false tor false relay false hosting true you can see it here everything here will keep you anonymous and not just anonymous you will not they won't be able to detect it so that's how that works and okay let's go over to vpn then you know the difference just note them down that you know that it's far more different no matter how expensive the vpn is you cannot you cannot even compare it with this okay so i just connected to a vpn now so let's check the difference i i believe i believe you've noted down the one of proxy and they go login so now let's check the difference so let's accept this and i'm on ip info right now so let's check the difference here so you can see here you can see that everything here is everything will really expose your identity and it says is any cast you say false it says false mobile false is anonymous true i'm using a paid vpn it's anonymous true which means that yes they really know that you are you are you are um, anonymous like you are hiding to do these things some website will detect it so it shows that you are staying anonymous meanwhile using the proxy it didn't even show that and you are also staying anonymous for a satellite force hosting is true you can see now so let's go vpn is true which it has already been detected but it's not using proxy um, all of that hosting is also true so you can see the difference here this can easily get you detected so i think with that you've been able to know the difference and also how to set up yours remember i will drop the link or from uh, go login and web share in the description of this um, video so thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you need more videos like this. So thanks.